Hi everybody, it's Leah Rupel from Straight Up Coaching and this is another episode of Mind Movies. And today we're going to talk about Christmas overwhelm. As more importantly, I'm going to give you a strategy for those of you that kind of start to freak out when it gets close to Christmas. Because I don't want you to steal your own joy. I want you to celebrate the spirit of Christmas and we'll get into some of those things as we get closer to the date. But today, what I noticed when I was out driving with my son is that there was this energy of mayhem on the streets. There was people driving everywhere. Some people had trees. Some people, like, obviously, Saturdays and Sundays, I get it, are a day where people need to get stuff done. If you are not one of those people and you can do something on another day, please do because you stretch out the time so that you have the access to stores and hours that other people don't. And if you want to keep the blood pressure down, that might be a really good idea because let's face it, there is no parking close to the door in the mall anyways at this time of year. It doesn't matter. Three weeks before Christmas. Now what I wanted to suggest was for those of you that have this feeling of overwhelm. Now that would be where as soon as you start thinking about what you need to do, it starts this series of thoughts that just go swirling in your head and you can't even make anything out and it it's a little exhausting. It almost feels like, you know, your heart's palpitating, you feel hot, your head's a little crazy, you might even get a headache. And what I find is this time of year, people just jump off their, fall off the wagon and they stop eating regularly. They go for long periods of time without eating. They start giving up all of the exercise and extracurricular activities that they do, all of the things that help manage this overwhelm. So I'm going to give you a strategy for helping to plan out these next few weeks so that you can have a little bit more uh, control over your Christmas mayhem, let's call it. First of all, I want you to take a piece of paper. I want you to just brainstorm, write down everything that's in your head, everything that you can think of that's causing some stress or some thought to your head. And I got to do this. I got to buy this many presents for somebody. I've got to get a tree and then I got to, I got to bake and I got to freeze it. And then I got to go to Aunt Mary's house and then I got to do this. And then I got to get snow tires because we're driving up to go skiing. You see what I mean? As a matter of fact, I spoke to somebody last week, a friend of mine who started that whole series, her voice and tonation started to go up and it started to go faster. And I, I was starting to get stressed just to the fact that she had so much to do. So I, I used this strategy for her, writing it all down on a piece of paper, seeing everything. It's like projectile vomit. It's like, boom, all out. It actually feels really good to write it down. Once you have it down, you can take another piece of paper and you can write down in order of priority what has to be done today, for example. The next column could be what has to be done this week. And the other one could be done sometime before Christmas. Now, when you have that broken down into three different columns, you'll start to see that what has to be done today might only be three or four little items. At the end of the day, when you get to cross off those two or three or four items, whatever it might be, or one, you'll have one successful day. Celebrate, yeehaw, day two, move it over, slide it down and then you get to prioritize. So that's what you wanna do from now until Christmas time, until the big day, da, 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 and then it's over, and then you think, whoa, I'm so exhausted. Yeah, because we make it that way. So enjoy the season, spend some time planning, getting rid of the overwhelm so you can spend the rest of the time with the people that you love and the people that you have fun with so that you can enjoy the spirit of Christmas. So let's get rid of the overwhelm, let's get some shift happening here, Write it down and prioritize and then get her done. We'll talk to you soon on the next Mind Movie. It's Leah Rupel.